Hi, I'm Charisma from Charisma's Corner, and today we're going to focus on the Lazy Daisy stitch. It's a really easy stitch, but um, I just think that you can't get through a wool penny project without knowing it. And I'm going to show you a few different ways in which I use it on my um, wool penny project that I've started here. I've been working on the same piece the whole time that we've been doing this series of videos, and um, I just have a few examples to show you. So um, I used the Lazy Daisy Stitch to actually make daisies on this one. I just used, you know, five little petals and then put a French knot in the middle, which we went over last week. And then I did a big flower here using the Lazy Daisy. A lot of times I use the Lazy Daisy for leaves um, on stems. So you can see here I have a, a full yarn knot, three Lazy Daisy petals, and then I made a stem with the... Um, lazy Daisy stitches. On my bouillon rose, I use them here for um, leaves as well. And um, up here, I um, couch the rose and use them here as well. So they're very versatile and um, they're very simple, very easy. You can make them any size. And we'll go through this um, together here. Let me just hoop this up real quick. I have a piece started already. So um, I've seen some videos of what you guys have been doing and I, or pictures and I'm just so excited to see the progress that you all are making and tomorrow is the day that we start our um, 365 days of stitches which I'm very excited about. I've been seeing lots of outlines and um, ideas that everybody's come up with and um, I'm just so excited to start that project so I'll be making another video for tomorrow. So. To do the Lazy Daisy, all you do is to come up where you want your um, Lazy Daisy stitch to go, bring it up. You want to go back down in the same hole and you want to pull it, but you don't want to pull all the way down because you're going to come up where you want that petal to finish. Go inside of the loop, pull it out. You don't want to tug it because then you're going to get um, really thin things. You kind of want it to form that loop. And then just on the outside of where that um, loop forms, take your stay stitch and pull back down. And that's the lazy daisy. So let's go through this again. You wanna come up, pull it all the way out, pull the little bit back, go back in the same hole, pull, form a little loop, come up where you kind of want that loop to end, make your stitch, Go back down on the other side of that thread to make a stay stitch and hold it down. So I'm going to do this a few more times for you. I used a high contrast thread so that you guys would be able to see it a little bit better. Go back down in the same hole that you came up. Form a loop. Go make us come back up through that loop. Pull it, then go down on the other side of that um, loop of thread. So you can see here I kind of did a ring of lazy daisies around the outside of this. Now I'm doing another ring just to kind of give this a little bit of whimsy and then I just did some, um, well I just took some long stitches in the middle just to kind of give the inside of the flower a little pizzazz. So that is the Lazy Daisy Stitch and I, I cannot wait to see what kind of projects that you all are coming up with and um, I'll have another video tomorrow to kick off our 365 days of stitches. So I hope you guys all have a fabulous 2016 to end your 2016 and then that your 2017 be blessed. I'm so excited to work with all of you. Have a great day.